Hello, Dante here from MadeOrderPCs.com. Uh, this is my first video. No, it's not my first. It's my first in a very long time. I'm sorry. School started. You know how that is. Having to work, deal with all those people at school. Jerks. Anyway, um, today I'm going to be disassembling a IDE hard drive. Very simple. Western Digital 80 gig drive. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because it's got the click of death, which means you turn on your computer and it goes click, 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 spins down, spins back up here, click, 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 and that pretty much means something's wrong with the inside of the drive and there's no hope for recovery. Um, it doesn't even, the hard computer doesn't even recognize it as a drive because the hard drive does, doesn't, something's wrong, it's not even admitting to being a hard drive, so in the BIOS that's pretty much what's happening. So. I'm going to disassemble it for your pleasure and entertainment. Um, it's an 80 gig drive, and I'm going to be using this uh, multi-bit screwdriver thing here, courtesy of I believe Instructables.com. They had a trade, or they uh, were at a uh, maker's fair in the Bay Area here in California, and uh, so I got one of these, and it's very convenient because I had no idea it, can, it um, had the Torx uh, bits in here. It has Phillips. Actually, let me get the kit. I think I have it right here. Will the camera focus? No, it won't. Anyway, we got a bunch of Phillips, um, standard, and then Torx right over there. And so I just selected one bit, whatever one fit. I believe this is a, um, let me see, does it say? T8, the Torx 8, it's a number 8. And uh, that's a standard hard drive size, let me get rid of that. And so I'm just going to disassemble it here. There's a few screws around along the edge here. And I'm just going to show you the inside. So I'm going to sit down over here and I'm going to begin to uh, unscrew it. I loosened the um, the screws off camera right before I started the video because um, I had to like use both hands to get some of these things free because you don't want moisture to get in here so the manufacturers know that and they tighten these things down so it's waterproof more or less and so I'm just going to open this thing up and I'm going just to explain what's going on inside what all the parts are Okay, almost done here. Okay, cool. Let's see if I can pry this thing apart. I hope I can. Oh, got it. Wow, that was... Just kidding, I don't have it. Hold on. Uh, did they glue it down, too? Oh, no, they didn't. I'm missing one right under... I feel it right there. They like to hide... They like to hide some of the screws underneath things. So just... Oh, there's another one right there. I think... No, it's just a dent. All right, that's the last one. They like to hide the um, screws in places, so it kind of screws you up. Oh, and this one needs to be loosened. Cool, and that's the last one. We pull that out. That's gone. Get the sticker, put it, screw it, put it right back there. Now it should come apart relatively painlessly. There we go. So as you can see, that's what an inside of a hard drive looks like. Can you see my reflection? Yeah, you can. Hello, how you doing? Um, so I'm going to put this part down. I'll get to that in a minute. Here is the hard drive, all right? Let me see. Where's that? Okay, hold on. Right here. Cool. See that little hole? I'm not sure if the camera will focus, but there's a little hole right there. Oh, you can kind of see it. There's a hole right there. That is the filter, the air filter. Because um, when you take these things at the higher altitudes or lower altitudes, you know, pressure builds or um, it creates a vacuum inside, depending on if you go up or down. And, oh, this is a silicon... Um, thing outside so moisture doesn't seek, uh, go in. And anyway, that filter is there to make sure you get clean, dry air inside. It's a carbon activated filter. As you can see, here it is on the other side. If I was to open this up, bust this open, you would see a bunch of black powder come out, which is a carbon. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much just a piece of metal or plastic or something. I think it's metal. I'm positive it's metal. With the uh, silicone here, little dampener right there. The filter right there. Now to get to the interesting part, we have the hard drive. Hey, look, it's a perfect mirror. Um, they're shiny. They are made out of either silicate, like pretty much glass, or porcelain, or metal if they're older. This is an 80 gig drive. I'm guessing it's metal, just because that's how they would probably make them. Um, as you can see, here's the actuator arm. What happens is this thing spins right here. These platters, you can't see because it's like perfectly clean. 
but normally this thing spins at um, 7200 RPM which is really fast like that and then this thing just goes bounces around finding the data and yeah uh, let's see this is only one platter normally these things are oh just kidding two can't tell no just one platter so that means how there's 40 gigs on the top 40 gigs on the bottom in here we have really powerful neo uh, neodymium rare earth magnets that act as um, that control this thing really precisely until of course they go out like this one did here's another carbon activated filter this one's a lot smaller it looks just to be like a piece of whatever but what happens is in case that filter fail, fails on the lid this one the carbon activated one this spins like this and um, dirt or whatever will always end up in this little divot because all this other stuff is sealed off um, around here when you put the lid on it kind of seals everything off this area is open this filter catches it and makes it so you can't get garbage in there so what else is there um, this part right here with the two screws that connects to the outside connects to that logic board this is where the power comes in this is attached to the computer here and when the power comes in that's where the jumper settings are here are the four um, um, connections for the um, spinning mo motor inside which is right under this and that is goes up to here for there and they all just go right down terminate down to there the board gets its power from the uh, this logic board here gets the power from the uh, IDE cable and uh, yeah I don't know what else there is to say ba hard drives are very basic even though they perform a very impossible see, which seems like an impossible task but they are not they're obviously you know happening things I'm going to plug this in uh, using an IDE uh, power cable and I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's fired up and what the um, clicky sound sounds like and everything um, alrighty so here we are in my really clean room this is my computer the front of it actually I don't have a case for my computer because I'm just too cool um, this has I don't know if you can see from there this is a 9800 GTX graphics card um, 9600 black edition AMD quad core processor and if you can see I have 8 gigs of DDR2 800 megahertz RAM stacked up over here along with a fan right here and another fan back here so here's the hard drive again here's the power connections here is the spare uh, Molex connector I'm going to use so just check out what happens with the drive when I plug it in uh, wait, let me get the right polarization first there we go As you can see, it's spinning up and down, and it's clicking and saying, oh crap! It doesn't like that I'm suppressing its movement. But as you can see, this thing's spinning, this is writing directly on it, the actuator arm. So you can see how this thing's going to gets some pretty hot. Um, that's why hard drives are kind of warm because of the friction from here and over here. Things dancing around like a freaking person who dances. And so it's just clicking. It's trying to calibrate itself, but it can't because it's dead. So that's it. It's just going to keep doing this until it either power goes off or the thing just spontaneously combusts um, the first one is more likely to happen but you never know um, but yeah that's how a hard drive works this is Dante with madeorderpcs.com oh it stopped it must be spontaneously combusting I'll plug it back in reset it ah hold on anyway yeah this has been Dante with madeorderpcs.com I hope this video helped your understanding a little bit how these things work Wikipedia has a cool article on this which I may or may not link to in the show, not show notes um, what else is there click a death sucks um, if your hard drive has failed madeorderpcs.com will fix them if you have the click of death pretty much all hope is lost we do have some uh, sources we can uh, we could recommend to you um, but you gotta give me a call for some details about that um, my phone number, local phone number here, business phone number is 650-918-7326. I will also post that in the show notes. 
uh, 650-918-7326. Give me a call. We're open 24-7. If we don't answer, leave a message. We'll call you back in the next four hours. It's very simple. Um, once again, this is Dante from 8 PCs.com. Thank you very much for watching.